Today's spooktacular spot, Spot's having a look at yet another Mighty Max Horror Head, as we have a look today at Zomboid. Not quite sure what Zomboid is. It kind of looks like he's got his head sticking out of a toilet. I know that's not correct. Adventure in the palm of your hand. Zomboid also comes with a Mighty Max figure. It also comes looks, looks like it comes with a giant gross centipede and an eyeball with brains and legs. That's 80s toys for you. Comes with us from the folks over at Ideal. The back, some of the other horror heads. There's Skull Warrior, Lava Beast, Droid Invader, Nightwing, that we've already had a look at. Sea Squirm, Nuke Ranger, Chronosaur, and Zomboid. We've got a short, very short Mighty Max comic. Doesn't really say all that much because there's no words. It's just you kind of follow the follow along the little panels and try to deduce what is currently going on with Mighty Max. Oh, and by the way, this is dated, I said 80s, this is 1992 from the folks over at Ideal. That being said, Spot's gonna take a break. I'm gonna get this opened up, and when we come back, we're gonna get a better look at the Horror Heads Zomboid. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Zomboid, much like the other horror head that we had a look at, does come included with his own brochure. These are some of the other Mighty Max sets on the front. These ones, are, I believe, are a little bit bigger. There's Doom Dragon, Wolf Ship, Alien, uh, Ice Alien, Temple of Venom, Arachnoid, and Skull Dungeon. Ooh! The inside, however, we've got all the horror heads here. Many different languages also featured on here, too. And we've already had a look at the Nightwing. And uh, Spot's going to be having a look at a couple of these as well. If you really uh, love these, I'll try to do more of these uh, maybe for eh, maybe for next year's Spooky Spots. We don't know. We'll put that to the side. I've already taken the liberty of adding everything to Zomboid. Because unlike Nightwing, Zomboid is a little harder to put stuff in. It doesn't really snap so much into place as well that Nightwing did. I'll show you guys the comparisons between the two. Uh, with Zomboid, you've got one eye sticking out, kind of a gruesome looking face there, and some of his brain is still visible. This zombie certainly has seen better days. It's flat on the bottom, so it sits very well. And you know what, before we actually open both, or open the Zomboid, I'll show you the Nightwing that we've ever had a look at. This is probably my favorite of the horror heads and see how well they are, how everything is well kind of concealed. With Nightwing, when we did the review of, when we had a terrifying look at Nightwing, you remember these little tabs, you had to push down in your thumb to kind of pop them into place. But Nightwing did everything well concealed and, and everything kind of stayed in place, like the, the bat's not going anywhere, Mighty Max isn't going anywhere, you got yourself a fun little playset set that can open and close no problem whatsoever. However, when you get to Zomboid, Zomboid's a little bit more trickier because, we'll just put it to the side, when you open up Zomboid, again, put your thumb in there and open this up. Zomboid, when you open it up, everything kind of is a mess. It doesn't really stat, it like stick in the place. Like for example, if we look at Nightwing once again, I want to keep going back to Nightwing here. Nightwing, let's open this up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. When you took Nightwing out, Nightwing, if you remember, had a little clip tab on the back of his feet. So when you clipped it, it clipped against the ledge and it didn't go anywhere. Mighty Max the same, he had like little foot pegs or a little groove area where his foot sat in and also didn't go anywhere. That is well designed. However, when you start looking at Zomboid, Zomboid, you kind of have to line everything up and the the one that gives the, the, the giveaway is the eye. You have to line up everything and you kind of just stack it on top of one another to close it up. You can see it doesn't always close well. You have to do a really good job of lining it up to fit it all into place. But if we open up the contents, contents will include a walking kind of brain thing going on here. And again, with Nightwing, the eye would go right through here. 
but there's nothing that really clips the brain into place. And the Mighty Max still clips his feet into the little groove slot here. Let's move the centipede out of the way. The, you can see right there, he fits his feet into. Just like that. And again, he doesn't go anywhere. The centipede, which I almost dropped, doesn't have a section where it pegs. Like it fits. I, I was wondering what these little pegs here are for. And I don't see a section on either the centipede or on the brain that tells me exactly that, yes, in fact, this goes here. And I thought initially, okay, I'll just kind of line up everything, line up the brain and close it to kind of see where everything falls into place. And again, the easiest thing to do is probably just take the brain when you're closing it up and put it up the top. And the centipede sits kind of just right around there. And you have to rush kind of everything to close it up to make sure everything stays in place. And it stays in place, but it's certainly not the easiest thing like we had to look at with Nightwing. The centipede, once again, is just a solid plastic. It's got a little bit of red on the top there where it looks like it's been eating something gross. Might also want to draw your attention to the fact that the brain also has blood on it too. Connections? I don't know. But they are really gruesome looking, certainly for a kid. kid my age back then, this was all the fun stuff. Like you had Tales from the Crypt stuff, you had like Mighty Max, stuff now that kids could perceive as a little on the scarier side. The interior, which I'm guessing is still the interior of a zombie head. You got some magnets, maggots growing on and moving around the top there. He's got a spinal cord or the equivalent of a spinal cord. He's got some organs and guts and all goodies going on in there. Mighty Max still, again, pegs into place. And the Mighty Max looks like it's the same Mighty Max as we had to look at with Nightwing. In fact, let's go ahead and open up. Yes, segueing again to the terrifying Nightwing. Pop this open. Let's have a look at the Mighty Max for Nightwing. And yes, in fact, it is the exact same Mighty Max. Nothing different, paints the same. So if you lose one, at least, not that you would want to lose them, but at least if you lost one, you could use another Mighty Max in the other uh, playset. So we go ahead and when we're ready to play, well, when we play, we can kind of just pretend like Mighty Max is running through the little zombie head area here, being chased by a giant walking brain, being chased by a centipede, and only apparently with either a vacuum or water gun to protect him. Or maybe it's a proton pack, I don't know. It's small enough that it's easy to, you know, carry around with you. And when you're finished, just take the centipede, line it up. Again, it doesn't really, yeah, it just doesn't really sit anywhere. The only thing I'm really doing is just kind of putting the head over top of this peg and having it running alongside this other peg here, this little slot. And then you can take the brain, line up the brain to the socket of the eye. And again, quickly close up shop before anyone looks. And then you just peg this in. And as you can see, it didn't do the greatest of jobs of clip of getting everything in place. There we go. And you've got the Zomboid. Easily not one of my favorites from the horror heads that we've had a look at. Even like coloring wise, this one just blows this one out of the water. But still they're fun little play collectible play sets. I like that they're small, they're convenient to take around. You could really just put them in your pocket. Billy could take them to Nana's house and scare the crap out of her. Today's spooktacular spot. Spot was having a look at more horror heads from Mighty Max. This particular horror head was entitled Zomboid, complete with an eyeball sticking out. Stay tuned guys, Spot's gonna have more spooktacular spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh...